Good morning. This is where I woke up today. I'm in Colorado, but there's a major storm coming tonight, and so I'm headed west to Moab. I found a couple of great places there, and I'm going to show you guys. Isn't this great? It's the last gasp of Colorado camping and there's a major storm headed in tonight so I'm headed west to Moab so I can be in some warmer weather. And this is where I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm at the... I'm at the Blair Ranch rest area just near Glenwood Springs, Colorado. I've been on the road for six hours. I thought I would already be to Grand Junction where I'm going to miss this big storm that's coming in. I woke up at 4.45 in the morning, like you can probably see, to try and beat some of the high winds that were gonna be happening today. But they got me and I had to go like 45 miles an hour, a good stretch of the way, because in Glenwood Canyon, which is on I-70 on the way to Utah, the wind just barrels through the canyon and I was being tossed around. So I've stopped for the night. It's a beautiful place. I found a spot I was able to put my slide out over a grassy area. And I'm gonna get up at five because it's six. The storm is coming and I'm only about three mile markers away from the area where they say there's a severe winter warning and that the highway might shut down. But it's more dangerous for me to keep going at this point, so. I hope that I'll see you guys tomorrow in Grand Junction. By the way, this is right down the road from what I thought was my favorite all-time rest area, which is called the No Name Rest Area, which is just like two more exits down. That's what I was headed for originally. But this is lovely, and I mean, there's this great walking path, and it's very clean, and there are no signs that say no overnight parking or even an hour limit on the parking. All it says is no alcohol on the premises. Uh, so there are video surveillance cameras and I feel great about staying here tonight. The only thing I'm a little hesitant about is trying to dodge that storm because in Colorado things can change really quickly and I actually don't have a good internet signal here. I asked a couple of friends, thank you Carol, to um, look up the forecast for me and it looks like if I leave five or six in the morning I'll be good. We'll see. You'll see with me. You guys may have seen the video I did I think last week where I show you how I put this new foam bedding on my bed. And I'm telling you, it is so much better than that stupid egg crate I had. And I've slept about eight or nine hours in the last two days because this storm was coming and I had so much work to get done. And I thought I was going to sit in here and binge watch some TV tonight and I think I'm going to binge watch about three minutes. So no problem. I'll get up early and get a, a good start on that storm. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to take you to Moab and show you the most amazing place. <laughs> I made it to Grand Junction, Colorado. I woke up before dawn and the wind was so bad going along I-70 through the Glenwood Canyon that I think my average speed was 42 miles an hour, but I made it. It was a little bit icy in some spots and, you know, if you've never traveled in Colorado in the spring or in the fall, it can get really weird. There was a point where there were sunny skies, mostly, and it was snowing on me, so <laughs> I'm glad to be just past Grand Junction. I'm just going to get a little work done while I still have a signal and then it's off to Moab. I'm really excited. I can't even film this outside because it is still so windy here, but I ran over a mouse. A little white mouse ran out. He zigged and then he zagged and then... Sorry, dude. Don't play in traffic, I guess, right? You know, when you drive in high wind and it's coming from one direction and you keep having to adjust. Lots of steering wheel action. Shake it out. Shake it out. My arms hurt. Anyway, this is where I am right now, you guys. It's really beautiful. Can you see that? It's so pretty here. It is a freaking disaster in my RV because I loaded up so fast to try and beat that storm that everything is just sitting in here on the floor. And I really want to get to my spot so I can reorganize.
Well, you guys, I made it. I'm here in Moab, and I'm at a spot I was at last year that I love, and I'm going to share it with you in the next video, along with some scenes of some camping I found on the river and the town of Moab itself. But I'm lucky that I got out of that storm. It was no joke. My arms hurt from all the wind and the driving. It should have taken six and a half hours, and it took me 12, even though I wasn't in the snow, just because the wind from that storm coming in was so high. But thanks, you guys, for watching. Everybody give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Have happy travels out there and be free.